Bill. Butch and his gang are coming through the pass. Ben. What's all the excitement, driver? Well, there ain't none yet. The guard just rode ahead to do a little scouting. The gap's a kind of a dangerous place. And we ain't taking any chances. There's a gang of outlaws hanging out in Deadwood Pass, and they've been pulling raids all through this section. Deadwood Pass? Isn't that where the hawk used to hide out? Well, what do you know about the hawk? <laughs> nothing, nothing much. But the hawk's in prison. My father sent him there five years ago. Your father? Yes. He's the sheriff of Deadwood County. Oh, then you're, then you're, uh... I'm his daughter, Betty Rollins. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I'm very glad to meet you, Miss Rollins. Oh, Jake! Come on! Well, Ben's signaling that everything's all right, so we just as well be rambling.
Right. across the gap in the dead wood and let Marlowe Thomas know what happened. All right. And you have no idea who he was. Never seen it before. Here comes the stage. What happened, partner? A gang of outlaws were on the warpath. They shot the guard and winged the driver here. You don't say. Why, hello, Gary. Hello, Red. How are you? I'll bet it was Butch Cassidy and that gang of his. Yeah, it has all the earmarks of that outfit. Red, help the boys take Jake over to the doctor. Sure. Hurry. Oh, hello, by the way. Where's Dad? Well, your father's out of town. How did uh, Jake get hit? Cassidy and his gang are out again. How do you know it's Cassidy? It couldn't have been anyone else. And if it wasn't for this man, I don't know what would have happened. Um, it's nothing, miss. Anyone else would have done the same thing. What's your name, stranger? Asking questions is rather dangerous sometimes. And not answering them is rather dangerous sometimes. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, we're a bit particular who comes to this town and where they come from. Seeing you're so interested, my handle is Tom Whitlock. I come from nowhere and I'm headed for the same place. You're smart, ain't you? Yep, smart enough to attend to my own business. Why, you... Mind the way. This man is a stranger and risked his life to save the stagecoach. We owe him a debt of gratitude, and yet you try to pick a fight with him. Don't worry, miss. It takes two to make a fight. But I'm not in the quarrel to move today. Uh, let's get the stage over to the barn. How about the mail? The mail's been given out. I think quite a bit of you while you're in town. Thank you, Miss Rollins. Goodbye. Goodbye. This your hat, stranger? Yes, thank you. Here you are, a mile away. A letter for you. Hey, Bull, turn to the funnies, will you? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Malloway. What? The hawk got out of the calaboose. Let me see. Joe Sadler, alias the hawk, made a daring escape from the penitentiary today. The hawk was serving a sentence of 20 years for robbing the Overland Limited five years ago. Negotiable bonds valued at $200,000 were stolen from the mail sacks. These have never been recovered and the postal authorities believe that the hawk hid them in the vicinity of Deadwood Pass. I'd like to meet up with that hawk. Hawk, you're under arrest. What's the idea? 
Who are you? Inspector Sorensen of the Postal Department. I figured you'd be heading back to Deadwood Pass, where you have a fortune hidden away. Yeah, well, you're barking up the wrong tree, Inspector. I'm not the hawk. I'm Tom Whitlock. Yeah. We'll soon see about that. Hey, roll up his left sleeve. Uh-huh. That tattooed hawk is a dead giveaway. Yeah, I was a fool to have it put on. Get going. Going to take him back? Sure, but I'll need some help. Looks that way. Say, where's the sheriff's office? It's out on uh, Front Street. Look after him while I'm away, will you? No, you don't need it. But I'll keep one eye open anyhow. Thanks, I'll be right back. How are you feeling? Great. How are you? Say, uh, I'm sorry I had that run-in with you out in the street today. Don't mention it. That's all I've been having since I got out of the penitentiary. Hey, listen, Hawk. I've got a proposition to make to you. A proposition? Sure. And it's a good one, too. That gang that tried to hold up the stage today are friends of mine. I've got Butch Cassidy out in Deadwood Pass now, trying to find out where you hid that loot from the Overland Limited. There's no hair off my hide. I know it. Well, we've searched the pass until even the rattlesnakes have squealed. I haven't found it. Uh, I've got the keys to your handcuffs. You cut me and butch in on the loot. I'll turn you loose, or else you go back to the pen. Well, I don't like the pen. I'll take your proposition. 50-50? That's a bet. That gang out there won't let you into the pass, unless you're known. Now you try tail it out there, and I'll have 44 and Bull take you into Butch Cassidy. Here comes that inspector. Quick, 
you, folks. Bring him back. Take him over to my house. in that room, boys. Get Dr. McMillan right away. Well, what's the matter, Dad? Never mind. Go get the doctor. Oh, all right. Fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Get out to the pass. Let the hawk through. Okay, mile away. Yeah. <laughs> By now, Tom is on his way to Deadwood Pass to be introduced to Butch Cassidy as the hawk. Oh, say, here's a wire for you I picked up over at the office. Thanks. My chief wires that the real hawk has been traced to the state line. Oh, then he did escape. Why, sure. But we figured that Tom would get into the pass and locate that stuff before the real jailbreaker got here. You know who that is? I never saw him before. the hawk. Sure he is. Hey! Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hey! 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 What's the hawk you're shooting at? Look like a stranger to us. Go ahead. back to Wyoming. There ain't nothing around here we want. I don't believe the hawk hid his loot inside the pass. If he did, I'm sure we would have found him. Guess that's about right. What do you think about it? Yeah, Butch, it looks that way. What me boy is that here? You want me to run? I'll startle you worse than that if I catch you dance for that Philippia again. Bombers! Yeah. Get in there and help your mother.
Who's the stranger? That gentleman, the hawk. The hawk? Yep, he landed in Deadwood. Had a run with the law. A mile away, helped him make a getaway and brought him out here to dig up 200,000 in loot. There'd be a split all around. You sure are welcome to Deadwood Pass, Hawk. Thanks, Butch. The pleasure's all mine. You sure this guy's the Hawk? Well, he plugged an inspector in Mileway Saloon. And he got a hawk tattooed on his left arm. Oh. Satisfied now that I'm the genuine article? Maybe, but not quite. Hey, Butch. I got one of those ones that was sent out right after the Sunbury Hill at the Limited. How about the picture? It's here, all right. But it's a good likeness of me. No, nothing like you at all. You've sure changed a lot since this was taken. Butch. It doesn't look much like me. <laughs> You're pretty smart, ain't you, Butch? What do you mean? Kidding him that way. He sure would have made a break when you said the picture of the hawk was on the reward sign if he hadn't have been on the level. Maybe, but I ain't so sure. Beat it in and tell the chief there's a fellow here claiming to be the hawk. And a hundred aces. No. Yes. Why, you old. <laughs> How are you feeling today, Pete? Oh, not so good, Sheriff. Thanks, Betty. understand why you don't get your deputies together and go out after the hawk. I will, when I'm ready. When you're ready? What do you think people are saying? I don't care what they say. You don't care? Well, I do. An escaped convict shoots Mr. Sorensen, and here you calmly sit playing pinochle instead of going out after him. Betty, I'm surprised at you talking that way. Surprised at me? Well, I'm ashamed of you. Your daughter certainly has a mind of her own, hasn't she? She sure takes after her mother. I ought to tell her what we're up to, though. No, not until I say the word, Sheriff. Well, I guess you're right. As soon as you're ready, Hawk, we'll go out and dig up them bonds. Uh, sure. When Mile Away gets here. Maybe we won't wait for Mile Away. Go to my 
Buenas tardes, Flappé. Buenas tardes, señor. Felipe. Come here. Buenos dias, senor. I'm glad to see you back again. Buenos dias. Where is the hawk? He's over in the cabin, senor. Where's his horse? This one over here. The black one? Si, senor. On el otro lado. Oh. Well, don't let it leave the corral. Why, senor? Because the real hawk hasn't had time to get into this pass. I believe that the man impersonating him is a law officer. Give me the word, senor, and I will attend to him personal. No, no. I'll attend to him myself, Felipe. Hello, Butch. Hello, Bo. Hello, Bo. Hello, Hi, boy. Pass the hog up this way. <laughs> Just bought a friend of yours, then. A friend of mine? Sure. The chief himself. But you'll be awful glad to see him. Oh, why, sure. <laughs> Muy bien, jefe. Hello, Butch. Where's this man who calls himself the Hawk? Oh, he's in there. He'll sure be surprised to see you. I know he will. Bring him out. Sure, right away. Come on, Hawk. There's an old friend of yours just drifted in. Oh, uh, uh, you mean... Uh... The Chief. That's great. Hey, Bull, when did the old man get back? I just brought him in this afternoon. Here's that old partner of yours, Chief. Hello, Chief. Glad to see you. Pretty clever, aren't you? Think so? Yes, but not quite clever enough. I admire your nerve. But I'm going to... Outside, get whoever fired them shots. Fire. Too bad. What a great pal he was. Go on out and help round up whoever did it. Hey, Shorty. Tell the guards to not let anyone out of the pass and let I say so. All right, Butch. Que bonito para Lolita. Oh, Lolita, in all my life, I have never beheld such a beautiful senorita. Oh, but you tell all the other girls the same thing. <laughs> you think I joke with you? Why, the next time I rob the bank, I'm going to buy you everything your heart desires, or maybe even more, eh? Oh, that is quite different, Felipe. Call it. What do you got? Two pairs. Ha, ha, ha. Three sixes. Two pair of tens. That makes fours. You said two pair and three sixes beat up. Look at the card. What? Lives are... Jerry's right, Butch. Those chips belong to him. Why, you...
Don't plug them yet till we get them bonds. Much shorty? No, I'm all right. I think I'll take a ride into town. Guards have orders not to let anybody through the pass. Well, what about Butch? Oh, he has the right to go in town any time he wants to. Deal me out. Well, I'll bet about five chips on these. Oh, oh yeah. That's some more. You got a raisin? Oh, okay. Hmm, hmm. Let's not let these over. Going into town, Butch? Have a good time, Butch. Close. It was the only way I could get out of the pass. Our chief wires that the real hawk has just crossed the state line. That means we've got to work fast. If he shows up, it'll throw a monkey wrench in our plans. He explained the whole thing. It'll need Charles. a lot of explaining. I never thought my father as a sheriff would have anything to do with a notorious outlaw. Read this, please. Tom Whitlock is an inspector in the postal department. He's helping Sorensen locate some stolen 
securities that are hidden in Deadwood Pass. But what about the tattoo on his arm? Put on, we'll think, Miss Betty. We weren't taking any chances. Why, why didn't I think of it sooner? What, Tom? This tattoo mark is an exact outline of Deadwood Pass. The hawk's head points to a tree in the pass, and the mark crosses the spot where the loot is buried. I'll bet you're right at that. Sadler had that tattooed on his arm so he'd never forget the hiding place. I'm going back to Deadwood Pass. I am to get there by daylight and dispose of the guards. Then I'll send word back to you. Uh, what will your horse do if I turned him loose? Oh, he'd come right back home. Just what I thought. You have a posse ready to ride the minute you hear from me. Good luck to you. And I'm glad you're not the hawk, Tom. Thanks. Next time I come back, I won't call in through a window. <laughs> Goodbye. Must have had a good time, Butch. Clear a mile away. How'd you come out in the game last night, Jack? Not so good. Last sixteen bucks. You learned you can't beat that game. Oh, I don't know. How do you like the looks of this pig? Oh boy, that looks good. I'm hungry. Where you are. Untie them. Come on. Get 
on your feet. Help me. Say, would you mind turning over that bacon before you... Sure, I hope it's well done by the time I get back. Bacon. This gent here is the real hawk. Well, that don't surprise me none. Where's the bird that tricked me into sending him out here? I'll bring him in. Do you know Filippi? Sure, I know him. He's one of the insurance detectives tried to make a deal with me while I was up in the big house. Not so fast, Philippi. Who else is mixed up with you in this deal? Can't find hiding a hair of that stranger. I'll gamble he's another star packer. Well, you can attend to him after we get through with this hombre. Here, use his own gun. <laughs> Put him up against that wall. Get up there. That coyote that calls himself the Hawk, a postal inspector? Come on, I'll give you one last chance to talk. I will tell you nothing. All right, then, it's your own funeral. Reach! Philippe, get their guns. with my saddle. Yeah, they cut my fence, too. Hey, look at that. And my reins have been cut. Look at these stirrups. 
Is it, Betty? Look, here's a message from Tom. That tree marks where the loot is hidden. Well, you keep your eyes open while I get it. Okay. He's dug up the loot. We've got them cornered. They rode into a pocket. Philippe, we're in a jackpot. Why, senor? Butch and his gang got us hemmed in and we can't get out. Undercover. Closing in on us. Si, senor. You take the horse and make a getaway. Follow this quick. It may lead you out of the trap. No, no, senor. I will not leave you. You'll do as I say. It's one chance out of a hundred. Here. If you get through, deliver these to the sheriff. I will.
The bonds? Hey, and Senor Whitlock, he recovered them from the past. There he is. Ah, there. Well, we've been a long time catching up with you, Butch. Oh, Get mounted, boys. Hello, Pete. Hello, Tom. I see you've got the bonds. Yes, they're all here. Kitty? I was sure surprised when I overheard that you were an insurance detective. And I, senor, I'm surprised to find that you are not the hawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, uh, who shot the chief? Senor, you must not ask questions. Thanks, amigo. Muy bien. Get going! <laughs> 